What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another day of Riggs Motorsports. We are back home, and I don't think we told you earlier, but if we did, here it is again. This is the H22A4 that we picked up recently. Picked it up for just a couple hundred bucks. Guy bought it. Turns out he didn't need it. So we're going to get this torn down so we can get it to a machine shop, so we can get it sleeved, so we can push more boost through it. <clears throat> Not more boost. And then we'll get this car into the nines in no time. That's the plan at least. Yep, so right now I just started by loosening some of the bolts on the thermostat. I still haven't loosened these one. I guess I don't need to loosen these just because we're going to pull the head off and we're going to send just the block. So I'm taking the this mount off, taking off whatever this big piece is. I'm going to be taking off the dipstick, the crankshaft pulley, this front cover and oil filter and lines in the back along with the uh, coolant tube that big tube I don't know what it's called but shouldn't take too long if I'm not messing around I should be able to get it done today it's just a lazy Sunday so get this done next buckle? I don't know. Stuff over here. On this part. Pro tip, always put your nuts in a sack. Put you in a sack. We've taken this off once already, right? Yep. What do you want? Or 19. Yeah, that's what I meant. The 19. Which I'm missing. So, we broke two breaker bars to try to get the crank pulley off, and we bought an air-powered impact that has 1,190 foot-pounds of torque, 
and that didn't get it off. So we're ordering another breaker bar that hopefully won't break this time. And we're gonna try to get that off tomorrow, but in the meantime, we're gonna take off a bunch of other stuff. So it's Chance was saying we broke multiple breaker bars trying to take off the crankshaft pulley. Yeah. Now what are you trying to take off now, Chance? Just a bunch of other stuff that doesn't need the crankshaft pulley to be off. So like the thermostat housing and the water tube, the oil filter, the oil cooler, probably take the valve assembly off just so we can expose the head studs or the head bolts. I'm just loosening these for now so we haven't taken the timing belt off because we haven't taken the crank pulley off so I'm not taking these all the way out just getting them loose oh yeah that reminds me you gotta spray that PB blaster still already did son oh you did? yeah I thought that was just you that's going funny well as you can see we got the cover off we got the bolt out of the crankshaft pulley. The way we did it was we had to end up ordering this breaker bar off Amazon. I forget which one. Oh, it actually says it. A Nico. N-E-I-K-O. And it's a half inch breaker bar. And we had to get this breaker bar with a uh, crankshaft or with the pulley holder from AutoZone. I rented this a couple days ago. And that basically just sits on the pulley and it holds it while you take your other breaker bar and you spin it. And then we also had to use a cheater bar. So like a, uh, out of like a jack, a jack, if you take the bar and you slip it over the handle, then you get like extendo grip. We finally got that taken care of. And I already went, in he went ahead and took off part of the uh, belt tensioner. Here is the timing belt. I'm not sure how well you can see it from that angle, but I just have the camera set up because I'm by myself at the moment. And I'm just going to start tearing this apart so we can get the head pulled and uh, go from there. <laughs>
time and boat. pretty good so far got most of the pumps and pulleys off the front still have the balancing shaft to, to take out I'm gonna leave the rest of the top of the head alone just because we need to pull out the valve train and take out the head bolts and then the head should be able to pull off and then from there I'm gonna take off the oil pan so I can get the cranks, pistons, and connecting rods out of the way. So, got the head off after a little bit of work. I think the camera died, so I stopped filming a bit. But it wasn't too bad to get the head off. And this was sitting outside for a while without the spark plugs. So, there's a little bit of uh, dirt and stuff in the walls. But the cylinder walls don't look too bad. And they're getting machined out anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. So I think I just have to take a couple of things off right here 
and then I'll flip it over and start taking the oil pan, rods and pistons, and the crank out.
pan off. So the camera died in the last clip that you just saw. It died right after uh, I got some parts taken off. But looking at the engine now, I got the crank pistons and rods out. I just have to take the oil squirters and these baffles. In the last clip, I was taking the windage tray and that part off. And I was using a uh, pry bar and I was just getting underneath this while uh, dad was smacking it with a mallet and it popped off and then I got all the other parts off. I guess that's it for now. We're gonna get the oil pump balance shaft delete kit for this. It's about 350 bucks. Maybe it'll go on sale around Black Friday tonight or something. We'll get that, get it sent to the machine shop and then we'll get it sleeved and then hopefully we'll get this car in the nines. Today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving everyone. And to those who don't celebrate it, happy day. From Riggs Motorsports. Yeah. Check him out. <laughs>